Welcome to the F5 Networks Advanced Web Application Firewall Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how simple it is to create a security policy using Big IP Advanced Web F5 Networks Industry Leading Web Application Firewall. This is demo one of the AWEF demo series, and it's intended for users that are new to Big IP Advanced Web. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to launch application layer attacks. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running Advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the backend web application. The F5 Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request, and can block all malicious requests, and prevent them from going to the backend web servers. Let's start by launching some common layer 7 application attacks against a web server. We'll use the DAM vulnerable web application, or DVWA, for short. The first attack we'll launch will be a SQL injection attack. These attacks are meant to trick a database server. This first attack string tricks the database server into returning all the user accounts in the database. This next attack string tricks the database server into sending much more data. You'll see that for each record we can see the first and last name, the user account, and then a hashed version of the user's password. Notice there's a user with the username of victim. Let's see what we can do with this hashed password. We can search the internet with this value and quickly find the plain text version of this user's password. We'll copy this password. and then log out of the web application and then attempt to log in as this username using the password value that we discovered we are successful notice at the bottom of the page you can see that we are indeed logged in as this user a successful SQL injection exploit can read sensitive data from the application database modify database data or even delete data or the entire database Next, we'll launch a couple cross-site scripting attacks. These attacks exploit user input fields by inserting scripts that can perform any number of functions. For example, this script, containing the alert command, creates a dialog box, which can display whatever text the script writer wants it to say. We'll log into the web application as a regular, non-malicious user and open the same page. Notice we are presented with the same dialog box. The malicious user can make a dialog box appear for all users of a web application, displaying whatever text they like. This next attack uses an iframe script. An iframe script can be used to place a frame of another web page onto the current web page. When the non malicious user opens this web page, they now see this second web page displayed within their web page which in this case makes it appear that they have a virus on their computer. Imagine that our competitor could place a frame of their website onto our site's home page. To prepare for the third cross-site scripting attack, we'll first clear the previous two entries from the DVWA database. As the malicious user, 
We'll now add a cross site script that uses the window location command. When we access this page as the non malicious user, we're now immediately redirected to what appears to be a command line, but is actually just a web page that's meant to fool the victim. Cross site scripting is a powerful exploit because a malicious user can insert any form of script code into the database. Another thing to keep in mind, the malicious user was able to insert all the cross-site script attacks while logged into the web application as the user account victim, which they accessed from the successful SQL injection attack. Now, let's protect the web application. First, We'll take a look at the virtual server we were just using to access the DVWI website. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. Note that this virtual server contains the default HTTP profile. An HTTP profile is required to protect against application layer attacks. Next. We'll create a big IP advanced WEF security policy to protect the virtual server. There are only a couple of pieces of information needed to create a security policy. A name. The template type. Which for this policy will be rapid deployment. And the virtual server we're protecting. We'll also put the security policy into blocking mode. Select the low accuracy signatures. And disable signature staging. That's all it takes to create a basic security policy with Big IP Advanced WEF. Rapid deployment includes several common security measures. And includes thousands of attack signatures. Now, let's try the application attacks again. First, the SQL injection attack. This attack is now blocked by the Big IP Advanced WEF security policy. Now for the cross-site scripting attack using the alert command. This attack is also blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF. Let's try the attack using the iframe script. This attack is also blocked by the Big IP Advanced WEF security policy. Let's view the Big IP Advanced WEF event log to see why these attacks were blocked. First, we'll filter the log files to view only the three blocked log entries. Let's examine the first blocked request. The event log provides several details of the malicious request. For example, we can view details about the attack signature that was detected, such as a description, the severity, and the risks. We can also view the exact attack signatures that were detected, and the parameter that was exploited. In this case, the ID parameter. We can also view the violation rating and attack type. This request has a violation rating of 3, and it's identified as a SQL injection attack. This second blocked log entry matched three attack signatures, which exploited the MTX message parameter. The third blocked log entry was blocked because it matched the iframe tag signature. In addition to these details, we can also view the entire HTTP request, including the request line, all HTTP request headers, and the request body. This enables the security administrator to view exactly what text was input into the form by the malicious user. Using a big IP advanced WEF security policy that took seconds to create, 
Our web application is now protected from the two most dangerous of the OWASP top 10 attack types. Thank you for watching this demonstration on creating simple application security policies using F5 Big IP Advanced WEF. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Networks Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.